I don't think we'll have a, an accurate figure ever. People have just vanished. But uh, you may recall something I wrote on the 2nd of May was uh, that uh, this first started off with the explosion of hatred when the Bengalis went uh, and massacred thousands of uh, non-Bengalis, Biharis and West Pakistanis. I put that down to about 100,000 people, so the body count has been about 20,000. And I would say about another 150,000 have been killed subsequently by the army action. And has the army been deliberately seeking out t certain types of people to eliminate them? If this, is, this has been the, the real, the most cruel part of it all, is that uh, in the purification process, the targets have been A, the Hindus, B, the Iwami Leaguers, the secessionist group in the Iwami Leaguers, C, the students who were also people who wanted an independent state, and four, those rebels, 176,000 of them who could were caught or could be caught and killed. These are the targets of the present operation. What has been the attitude of the West Pakistani army officers who've had to carry out orders to kill these people? Extremely casual because they seem to be uh, working with the idea that they're saving Pakistan, though the people don't seem to matter. And uh, they also seem to take the, the view that what they're doing is only to punish those as the prices for what had happened on the 25th and 26th. This, of course, I mean, this is the general mass of army officers and men, but the policy makers, of course, have a different idea. It's a question of purifying pa West, East Pakistan so that they don't have to go through this whole process again, as I mentioned in my story in the Sunday Times, that uh, they want to do it they never have to come back, probably for 30 years or if ever. Is there still any Bengali resistance within East Pakistan? Yes, uh, there is. Uh, it's growing now with the advent of the rains. In Dhaka on the 17th and 18th, there are several bomb explosions. And friends of mine who've come from East Pakistan in the last uh, 10 days, they mentioned that it's impossible to travel alone. There's been sniping cities like Chittagong, even in Dhaka. And, of course, out of these two cities in the countryside, nobody ever travels alone. What does President Yahya Khan hope to achieve by this policy towards East Pakistan? We've been told it's to preserve the unity and integrity of Pakistan. But, in effect, what has happened is it has confirmed the break, emotionally at least. You can't find, you can't find a Bengali today who can consider himself to be a, a part of, of Pakistan as we knew it. Now that the monsoons have arrived, will famine finish off what the West Pakistan Army, Army has failed to do so far? Because of the breakdown of communications, the, the roads and bridges and railways have gone. The great danger is that in the 20, uh, 17 and 23 districts where there been always deficit in food, there will be widespread famine. Of course, the deaths won't start being counted immediately because it, what, however emasculated a man is, it takes a while before he really breaks down completely. But I think in about a month or so, you're going to have the effects of a food shortage. What happened to Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was moved from East Pakistan to uh, the jail at Atak Fort. He kept there for a few days, and now he's in Mirawali Jail, which is in the Punjab area. It's west of Lahore. I understand uh, from what the president told some editors privately that uh, he'd be given the most severest punishment. You know what that means.